Hey my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into the tea. So as we already know, Jada, Ari, Tay, Lakia, and a lot of other celebrities slash influencers are starring on this show on BET and it's called The Impact Atlanta. But it seems like this show may be already causing some controversy, especially between little babies, baby mothers. Let's go ahead and get into it. So recently an episode premiered where Jada was speaking about her relationship with her baby daddy, little baby. And she had said that they had been together or on and off for about six years but it looks like little baby's first baby mother little miss golden does not agree with that information that jada was putting out this is what she subliminally allegedly was saying about what jada said on the show she said the math ain't mathin', but as long as it works out then okay i couldn't play the role or fake the script i was doomed from the jump seeing this girl and her man in my insta story views is a while too me now a fan decided to directly respond to little miss golden on twitter and she said little baby was 17 when you started messing with him and you were every bit of 24 you are now 34 he's 26 you had little jason in 2014 or 2015 you should stop talking about or being jealous of someone that is your junior now i'm not gonna lie i really did not know little miss golden was seven years apart from little baby in age now obviously i knew that she was a little older she looked a little older than little baby trust me i'm not saying she looks old she looks good for her age but I knew that she was older than Lil Baby because she looks like it. But I did not know that they were seven years apart. And neither did I know that she was allegedly messing around with Lil Baby while he was a teenager, 17 years old. Now, like I said, this is alleged and this is what this fan is saying. Completely disappointed because Lil Miss Golden and Jada were getting along at some point. It seemed like they really didn't have any problems. They haven't been beefing online for a while now. I mean, it's been like a year now. And it seems like now the show might be causing some controversy or what Jada said. But if that's Jada's truth, how can you really get mad at her about it? Like I said, she just doesn't agree with what Jada was saying. But I think one true thing that she was saying in her statements that she wrote to Twitter was that the show is scripted. Now, I've seen a couple of T-pages posting Ari and Jada at a table talking to each other like they allegedly had a problem with each other. And I think we have to remember, even though a lot in this show is true, you know, they may be speaking some truth about their situations or their relationships we have to understand that the show is somewhat scripted i mean it's entertainment they want to keep people entertained so they're going to act like there's a problem between so and so or so and so so they can get people to watch we have to understand that i mean i'm not really trying to take away from the show but we kind of have to be smart here and know that right now let's go ahead and move on to kanye now kanye obviously he's starting a lot of controversy when he posted this picture with the white lives matter shirt on now boosie was like the first one to speak out about this situation um the first celebrity i will say because of course everybody got something to say about this child now this is what boosie posted he said darn kanye you just going to keep using your platform to ish on your own race like this this is sad and the black people who still support you are even sadder last time speaking on this and then he put the clown emoji kanye west does not like black people do us a favor and bleach your skin all white thanks and then he decides to post a photoshop photo of kanye west and then he's like child just do it now boosie was definitely going in on kanye but he then he did an interview and he said that he doesn't directly have a problem with kanye west he was just kind of distraught about what kanye west posted him in the white lives matter shirt because he was like everything that black people went through i mean the black lives matter movement was for a reason so in a way what kanye was posting and now what he is selling child is basically kind of deferring people from the main point which is that you know black lives were once treated like they didn't matter or is somewhat still treated like they don't matter now Kanye West did respond to Boosie and he said don't speak on me little Boosie speak to me little nerd me come and smack me or come blank me I'm the one that got bullied by the entire black celebrity community now I'm back to blank 
the school up now this response was very disturbing don't really understand where kanye was coming from but a lot of us are not really understanding where kanye is coming from at this point now after that boosie's son decided to take the situation a little further and he decided to completely light up his yeezys and him and his friends agreed that they are not wearing yeezys no more child now this situation if it wasn't messy enough it seems like now puff and kanye west got into it now we know that kanye west and diddy they are pretty close or they were pretty close until these text messages got posted between diddy and kanye west of them basically getting into it now i will read kanye west text it says i didn't like our convo i'm selling these teas nobody gets in between me and my money this is my grandfather texting you now never call me with no bs like that unless you are ready to green light me because anybody who got on a t is me out of respect for everything that you've meant to me i'll be quiet as virgil but now i know how i've hurt people that i love come do something illegal to me now please now the text messages go on between them diddy was basically trying to tell kanye look i will meet up with you we can talk things out but kanye is like no you're the feds child the situation gets messy now we know that young miami which is diddy's mm -mm, <clears throat> a legit best friend she decided to retweet something on her twitter that said kanye is a F lunatic so she's basically standing up for her man diddy after these text messages between diddy and kanye west arguing came out we know that young miami she gonna stick beside her man right she gonna stick beside him now let's go ahead and move on to erica banks and her ex boo finesse two times he decided to recently speak out and say why him and erica banks didn't last why they ended their relationship or why he ended things with her now in the midst of him explaining he called her a b and i was like man that's super disrespectful anyways he says that he didn't want another homie he doesn't want any female calling him gang saying that he's a simp or saying boy please or anything like that like he needs him an actual grown woman he doesn't want no homie or no friend or no woman that's basically acting masculine he wants some type of feminine energy in his life now like i said he did call erica banks a b if he was talking about erica banks because i will have to say a lot of us are assuming that he's talking about erica banks including myself because erica banks was the last female that we seen him him with uh, all honesty i could kind of see why these two were together because it seems like he may be a little picky and we know that erica banks is picky especially with the female friends who go out with her to the club because i can almost guarantee that erica banks probably said something wrong while she was joking with him probably called him like boy please probably was like oh gang this gang that or she probably was just like, oh, you're simping for me or whatever. And he got upset in his feelings. It doesn't seem like she did anything too bad that would cause him to break up with her. But it seems like he just felt like he needed to break up with her completely. Now, let's go ahead and move into our last topic, which is going to be Young Ma. Now, unfortunately, her and her girlfriend did not last. Her girlfriend's name on Instagram is The Good Influence. And I really thought that these two were a cute couple, especially when they did the video with the other youtube couple it looks like young and may was spotted out with her new girlfriend and someone else one thing about young and may is that once she gets out of her relationship she is right back in another one or seen with somebody else child but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments once again thank you so much for watching room for tea make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload follow me on instagram at room for tea with two a's at the end and i will see you in my next video have a blessed rest of your night